Hey everybody, welcome to price controls, okay? Price controls, we're gonna control the price. Who controls the price? Oftentimes it's the government, okay? So this actually falls under kind of a government intervention type of section, okay? So keep that in mind. We got government intervention, we're gonna control the price. We know that when we don't control the price, the market has this nice way of finding the equilibrium price. But sometimes the government, sometimes for bad, sometimes for good, it's kind of arguable, they'll come in and they'll control the price. So there's two types of price controls. One is called a price floor and one's called a price ceiling. Price floor is a price minimum. Price ceiling is a price maximum. This video is about price ceilings, price maximums, okay? So price ceiling is a price maximum. Now, what we're gonna be talking about normally is binding price ceilings, but I also wanna talk about non-binding price ceilings, okay? Non-binding price ceilings is when the price ceiling is set and it doesn't bind the market, it doesn't change the market at all. A binding price ceiling is a situation that when we set it, it binds the market. It doesn't let the market get where it wants to get. To understand that better, I want us to look at these two graphs, okay? One of these is a non-binding price ceiling, and one of them is a binding price ceiling, okay? And it might be a little confusing at first which one is which. We're going to focus, once again, on binding price ceilings far more than non-binding price ceilings, okay? Which one of these is binding and which one is non-binding? To understand this, I want to introduce you to the price man, okay? The price man. I've got this little trampoline right here. The price man, where does he want to get? Well, he wants to get to that market clearing price, to the price equilibrium. E equilibrium. So the price man is jumping on the trampoline and the question is, can the price man get to the market clearing price or the price equilibrium right there? No problem. The answer is yes. He jumps up on the trampoline, hits it, boom, he's done. This price ceiling is non-binding. It is not impacting the price man at all. Now, jump over here or look over here, right? It's the price man that's jumping. So, price man's jumping on that trampoline. Hopefully you can see that beautifully drawn trampoline. Jumping on the trampoline. He wants to get to the market clearing price, but what is he doing? He is hitting his head on the ceiling, okay? That is a binding price ceiling. So that's right, price ceilings below price market or price equilibrium, those are the ones that are binding. Once again, a price ceiling is a maximum. The price man can go anywhere below the price ceiling, the price man just can't go above the price ceiling. So this is binding. So let's put that right there. So now we know the difference between binding and non-binding. Let's just go quickly, finish it off for a graph because it's not hard to do price ceilings. They're pretty straightforward, right? So I've got a supply curve, I've got a demand curve, and for some reason, the government, once again, maybe for bad, but maybe for good reasons, they're gonna come in and put in a price ceiling. They're gonna put in a price ceiling that's binding. So I'm gonna go down below where I know that price market would be. I'm just gonna draw it straight across. So what's gonna happen when we put in a price ceiling? What's gonna result from it? Well, at that price ceiling, that horizontal distance, what am I hitting? I'm hitting the supply curve. That horizontal distance gives us the quantity supplied. And at that price point, this horizontal distance gives us the quantity demanded. Now, Understand, we put price ceilings in oftentimes trying to help out people who just don't have the money maybe to buy basic or necessary goods. And lower prices do get demand to go up. The problem is they drive supply down. They decrease supply or the quantity supplied. So what is the result? Sure, we've got a lot of demanders out there, but only this much produce. The result is a shortage. And that's what we get when we put in binding price ceilings. Hopefully that made sense to you. We'll see you in the next video.